Victor Valley College Board Vice President Joe Brady hosts a fundraiser luncheon. The topic, the status of education in the high desert and its importance on the high desert economy. Featured speakers, renowned economist Dr. John Husing, San Bernardino County First District Supervisor Robert Lovingood, Victor Valley College President Dr. Roger Wagner. Dr. Husing's message largely one of optimism. So we are in a recovery. It doesn't feel like a recovery. Why? Because it's so ungodly slow. Again, a recovery is going on. It is excruciatingly slow. And I will tell you that is not because of the Republicans in Congress, the President of the White House. It's got nothing to do with that. This is a recession caused by too much debt. How and where this area needs to improve, the majority of the high desert workforce is without an education beyond high school. Unless you've got an educated workforce, you cannot compete for the kinds of companies that will raise the standard of living in your community. It's that simple. Specific sectors needing trained workers here, warehousing, logistics and distribution, commercial trucking, the medical profession and health care and construction. Machinists, welders, electricians, workers skilled in these professions will be in higher demand in this area. Economic realities clogging recovery in the Victor Valley, the staggering percent of residents in each community on welfare and high unemployment. So we've got a lot of repairing still to do particularly when you start seeing double-digit unemployment. What's this area have that the rest of Southern California has run out of? Dirt, as Dr. Husing explains. Dirt. There honestly isn't anywhere else to put people, and that has been a driving force for our region for a very long time. Robert Lovingood assured the audience that companies and corporations will be moving into our area. A trained workforce must be provided to supply those technical services and blue-collar workers. The technical trades will lead us to more success because the demand's already there. The event served to introduce the audience to new Victor Valley College President Dr. Roger Wagner. Wagner told the gathering that VVC enrolls 14,000 students, manages a $70 million annual budget, and with 700 employees, represents one of the five largest employers in the Victor Valley, all vital components to the economy of the local area. Dr. Wagner used this word picture to describe his role. You know, you, you keep rolling boulders up the hill, and they keep rolling back down on you. And over time, you keep pushing them up, and a few will go over the top, and you'll have a success. And that's my job, is to see how many boulders we can push over the top of the mountain. Dr. Wagner listed the four goals of his administration. I centered my goals around fiscal stability, which we all know we need to have, student success, that's why we're here, folks. That's why we're here, to take care of students. And accreditation, we can't serve our students if we're not an accredited institution. And our image, specifically the college's reputation in the community needs to be improved. VVC Board Trustee Lori Denson opened the program by informing the audience that, finally, prayer now opens board meetings, thanks to efforts initiated by Joe Brady. So we are pleased that now we can start our meetings with invocation at VVC. Um, what it means to me is an opportunity for um, reverence. We all know that there is a higher being and it's an opportunity to reverence, it's an opportunity to allow a, a peace, a calmness to come upon that boardroom before we make major decisions. So I really do thank Joe for pushing that, and I support it wholeheartedly, and I thank you, the citizens, who agree with it, and so we'll be getting our meetings with prayer. The event of fundraiser for Joseph W. Brady for Victor Valley Community College Board of Trustees 2016. One goal, alleviate this problem. Half the population, a little over that, is essentially uneducated in terms of where the technology is forcing the economy to go.